Hello and welcome to Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke. We are live on location at the Toronto Motorcycle Show for She Rides, an evening devoted to motorcycle curious ladies. Now, I am standing here with... Uh, Shane Pacillo of Piaggio Group. Of Piaggio Group, which is out of Italy. And we are going to be talking with him about this trend of motorcycles and scooters that are very appealing to women. Welcome, Shane. Thank you. It's good to be here. Now, what is causing women to go crazy for these products? I think uh, for most people, it's the expression of mobility, to have freedom, to get out and do something. Um, with Vespa specifically, what you're sitting on, it reminds a lot of people of vacation. It's a good feeling and a good reason to get out and do something different. And so talk to me a little bit about this baby, this beauty. What, what's some of its features? Yeah, so what you're sitting on is a special edition called um, the Vespa 946 Red. It's part of the Red Foundation uh, partnership that uh, helps contribute financial resources towards uh, some philanthropic efforts uh, for various causes, mostly related to children and AIDS in Africa. Um, this is a 155cc Vespa model. It's an homage in style to the original 1946 model. Uh, it obviously comes in a beautiful colorway, uh, very attractive uh, to anybody uh, in a classic style. And so for somebody, uh, maybe a lady who's just like not into motorcycling yet, would this be a good transition in, like to come to a scooter before, to, before you go to a motorcycle? Yeah, so obviously you want to check with your local uh, government about the tiers of licensing for how, if you do or don't have a motorcycle endorsement, if there's a scooter, uh, which varies, but a scooter is a perfect place to enter any, for anybody. From 50cc across many states, uh, U.S. Uh, states and provinces in Canada, it's a point of entry for as young as 14-year-olds. Um, all the way through, you do have a step-through frame, so you have some protection here. It's a twist and grow, go throttle, no gears to switch, relatively maintenance-free. So it's an easy way to get involved, see if it's something you like, and from there you can move wherever you like to go. And uh, for the more experienced motorcyclist, would this also be a nice addition? Let's say you're a collector, you have a few. Would this be a good addition to it? Yeah, so there's lots of ways to answer that. Obviously, North America, a huge place. That's what I, I work with, North America. Um, 50cc, 150cc, which you're on. 350cc, sorry, being the bigger side on some of the scooters. Um, you have options to go on highway, get in and out of the city, more storage. Um, some people take them for an RV trip. You can fit them on the back and then camp around. So what you're doing here will do about 70 miles an hour, 110 kilometers per hour is the speed. So it's a nice in-between and it's definitely something good in and out of the city. If you're looking for something a little bit more uh, for long distance or high speed, maybe more torque, something to get up and go, uh, we have motorcycle options across the group as well, which um, you know speak to many motorcycles. Motorcycles always order uh, or purchase more, um, so you end up meeting many people who own five, six machines um, because they catch an itch and there's different tools for each uh, vehicle. Okay, one last question before we wrap it up. So women in motorcycling becoming more and more popular, I believe there's an increase of over 19% in women buying in North America. What do you attribute that to? You know, it's, I think the same thing we touched on at the beginning, it's an expression of freedom. I think um, you've got a mix of social uh, elements that people spend a lot of time at home, maybe in front of a computer, they work hard, and when they get out, they want to have a sense of community, a uh, sense of freedom even. Uh, with motorcycles, you can do it together. Women can get together, go on a ride. Um, there's a lot more effort from the manufacturers, I think, to make bikes comfortable, reliable, and less intimidating. Uh, that's good for everybody, um, but of course that ties to female motorcyclists and uh, you're seeing a lot of growth in that and a lot of young uh, energy coming to the sport as well, which uh, we all celebrate. Okay, great. Now, if you can't come down to the show, obviously the show's on for the whole weekend, so if you can come down, I recommend that you do. But if you can't, um, tell us how we can reach you and maybe even where we could order one of these babies online. Sure, so anywhere in the world, you could go to Vespa.com or Piaggio.com, ApriliaMotoGuzzi.com. Uh, it'll direct you by IP to your local market where you can find a dealer. Uh, but all the information there for your local market's available. Uh, and our dealerships here in town, we're in Toronto now, uh, are absolutely ready to see you and tell you, hopefully get you on the road when it warms up a bit. And where in Toronto are you located? Um, well, being with the manufacturer, I'm all in North America. We have one in downtown Toronto. We also have, of course, a Mechanica and Vaughan. Vaughn, great area, just came from there. Yeah. 
as well. Okay, well, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you so much for your time today. And thank you for being with us today. This is Jeanette Burke, your host, signing off for Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. Please remember to like, comment, and share all our posts with your gal pals who need inspiration, motivation, education, and, of course, a little enlightenment. Until next time, continue to be fabulous. Thank you.